The school year is wrapping up and it was graduation day for thousands of students at UC Berkeley this morning. The end of a multi-year journey into the real world. And as John Ramos reports, many graduates are worried about what the future holds. Graduation is always a time of great optimism, but these young people grew up in the age of information and they're well aware of the realities of the world. When pomp and circumstance echoes through UC Berkeley, there's a feeling of celebration and accomplishment. Thousands of graduates filled the stands at Memorial Stadium to hear remarks from Steve Wozniak, the co-inventor of the Apple computer. Be gracious whether you win or lose. Life is not a dress rehearsal. You are living it. But the man who introduced information technology to the masses also made young people much more aware of the world than previous generations. And not all the news is good. Ryan Morris and his friends are happy to be graduating, but he's concerned about all the recent layoffs in the tech industry. I would worry about it. I think it's a big problem. I think a lot of this stuff has to do with AI. Uh, and personally, I might be going into the tech field as well if I don't end up pursuing law. And I think that we're going to see a shift on what we focus on in school and especially at UC Berkeley. He believes the emergence of artificial intelligence will lessen the value of a lot of time-honored fields of study. I think I'll be able to sort of shift it into something, uh, you know, more relevant to the, the new line of work. But I think other people, some people should be worried. And I think that's, the, the younger individuals should, should really consider their majors when they choose their majors. I've been looking for a job for God knows when. I mean, Economics major Tal Ferguson is worried about other financial weaknesses he sees. For me, it's the banks, 100%. Um, you know, seeing these... Uh, regional banks such as SVB and First Republic, these well-established banks closing down has just been, you know, very worrisome for me just uh, as a new grad. Okay. You know, I feel like it's the worst time to graduate, <laughs> unfortunately. But it's not all doom and gloom. Johanna Aguilar is confident as she heads into the health profession, a sector with a lot of room for growth. We're not going to struggle finding a job because we already have a degree um, and it's harder for others that don't have a degree. And Avalon Gagno, an architecture student, says she has a more human reason for being upbeat. And like everybody that I've met, going here has given me incredible optimism as to where we're going in the future. Everyone has really good morals that I've met, and everybody's really smart and sweet. And finally, Sam Tillis says he's accustomed to all the economic and social upheaval. I've grown up in, a, in America where there's always kind of that level of uncertainty and anxiety, so I can't say that I, I feel like this is anything new. He thinks the future is still there for the taking, and it helps not to be too gentle about it. It's, it's a quickly changing world that, that we're being thrust into, but one that, that I feel like we can still kind of take by the, by the scruff of the neck a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> being gracious is nice, but success in this environment may require some boldness and an understanding that this is not address rehearsal. Okay, I think we've got that part down. Diplomas weren't handed out at this morning's commencement ceremony. The university is so large that each department has their own graduation ceremony, many of them happening throughout next week.